Hello YouTube, I'm back. I ran into some uh, power issues. I thought that the Model B would backfeed properly from the uh, hubs, but apparently I had it running through too many. So I had to do a quick and dirty little hack. It's not the prettiest thing right here. Basically, that's the end of the pie that you normally plug in. And then I ran it back down and had it come out through the uh, port and I made a mess, but the project's not completely ruined. In the future, I would... Uh, do it properly, cut the cord, solder it, run it internally, etc. And it would come out looking a lot, lot cleaner, especially if I had the proper tools to be doing uh, the work for cutting the plastic. However, what we now have is a completely enclosed Raspberry Pi that has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, internal hard drive, uh, multiple USB ports, it is, uh, how they say, souped up. So, one little kind of cool bonus I noticed with this guy, too, is it comes with a little stand, too. So, if you wanted to uh, do a better job than I, i.e. the holes and stuff like that, you could probably actually get this thing looking pretty sharp. Do some decals on the outside, stuff like that. Take off all the crappy branding. Maybe run some LEDs in there. But, that's not the aim of this. This is just kind of getting it up and started the blood and guts of what's going on. So, we're going to take it and plug it in and see if she boots. As soon as I figure out how to plug in a USB port. Okay. The unit is now plugged in. As you can see, Wheezy will be booting in about five seconds. So, this shows that everything is self-contained here. And just to show you that it's working for sure, the back of the TV, I only have one USB, or sorry, one HDMI in there, so no funny business. <clears throat> I'm just getting our post now. Another important thing to remember, too, is that uh, a case like this, it allows actually quite easy access to the hardware. There's little clips that you push in on the side of these vents. And the top part just lifts right off. So if you ever needed to do any uh, hardware swapping or if I ever decided to not become lazy and rectify that little situation, it wouldn't be uh, death to get it done. Now, as I said before, my TV is not the greatest thing in the world, so there's a huge overscan problem. And yes, I ran the config utility, so either way, so there's our desktop. TBO player I highly recommend by the way. It's uh, kind of a uh, Python wrapper for the uh, OMX player. So now if we look over here on my Conky slash media slash pi. So my drive is picked up. I did a little bit of uh, reworking to the script to display it correctly, but it is there. And it is accessible. So in a nutshell that's how you do yourself a nice little Raspberry Pi desktop. I appreciate some comments and some feedback. Have a good one.